This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 260, Making Your Small Business Stand Out Online by Michael Levitt of breakfastleadership.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host, and I'm here every single day reading to you to help you optimize your business life. And today I'm featuring a brand new author for this show, and I'm gonna tell you more about Michael right after the reading. So for now, let's get right to the post as we optimize your life. Making Your Small Business Stand Out Online by Michael Levitt of breakfastleadership.com. One of the great things that has happened in the last 100 years is the internet. It is a free resource, knowledge, and communication system available to anybody wherever on the planet. Your internet presence is the new storefront for small enterprises. Websites and smart content have usurped storefronts and sales pamphlets as sources of information for clients. It's how they look into childcare choices and scour the area for the most dependable tutors, housekeepers, and dog walkers. But with so much competition out there, failing to maintain an online presence puts you in danger of losing potential consumers. The internet is an excellent tool for small business owners to use to expand their operations. For one thing, technology has transformed marketing, allowing small enterprises to compete on an equal footing with giant corporations, but how can one stand out in a sea of noise online? Build on the basics. Don't run before you can walk. To really stand out from the crowd, you need to make sure you have the fundamentals in place. This means a good, reliable website that is easy to use and aimed at sharing your business. Websites can be built on platforms such as WordPress, Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace, just to name a few. And finding the right one for you can help set you up for success. Next, choose a web hosting provider. Many different web hosting companies can host your new website, and many come with one-click WordPress installs, which is one of the most popular website platforms around. Choosing your name and buying a domain name will give your website an address people can search for to find you. All websites need an address, and making sure it is relevant to your company if your company name is taken is vital. One of the steps for developing your brand is to have a logo representing your company both on and offline. Get verified by Google. Ensure your Google company profile is complete, including your current address, hours of operation, services, images, and links to your most recent blog entries. Getting your business certified through Google My Firm can help your business appear higher in Google's search results. Content is king. When you search for something online, think about what you type into search engines and the type of results it gives you back. Look at the results for the type of content and keywords you are looking to rank for to get your website to the top of the rankings and compete with established websites and authorities in this area. This will give you a basis for creating content on your website, and a website without content is not going to serve you well. Newsletters and blogs are two ways to communicate with your readers. You can embed your blog into your website to show off your personality by sharing your views, experiences, and ideas. And you should also encourage customers to leave comments to maintain a positive relationship with them. All of your content, including images, text, how-to guides, which are a great way to rank in the search engine results pages, product descriptions, etc., needs to be SEO optimized to ensure it meets the requests of users looking for content such as what you are producing. Make connections. Once you've established your presence, you must remain consistent and noticeable. Building your brand and establishing yourself as a thought leader requires networking. Someone who is a source of valuable ideas in their field is referred to as a thought leader. By sharing this knowledge, you can assist others in learning, succeeding, and growing. Millennials, for example, like thought leaders since they are often the first to test a novel idea or offer insightful advice on current events. If your target customers are millennials, reaching out to them as friends and experts is a good idea. Be social. Partnering your website and online presence with your social media accounts can give you even more visibility and really help your company to stand out. Over 86% of Americans use the internet regularly and are thus considered online. Nearly 79% of those people use Facebook, compared to 32% who use Instagram, 31% who use Pinterest, 29% who use LinkedIn, and 24% who use Twitter. Social media has surpassed email, news, and other types of entertainment as a percentage of online time spent. So, if you want to reach your customers, you must meet them where they are. 
Make sure your branding is on point to maximize your efforts and allow customers to know they have the right social media accounts for your company. Take into consideration the age of your target audience and tailor your content to them specifically. Of course, there will always be a crossover of generations, but if you are a new company that is primarily looking to attract Gen Z, then combining creative video that captures their imagination on platforms such as Snapchat and TikTok will serve you better than status updates on Facebook. Boomers respond well to memes and the invitation to share their knowledge on Facebook. To really stand out, you need to make sure your online efforts are consistent and keep your company's style. With more people than ever before looking online for their next new favorite brand, or answers to questions or simply for entertainment purposes, it pays to make sure that you aren't lost in the noise of the billions of websites taking up space online, especially if your market is saturated or if you have some bigger brands you need to compete against. On the plus side, there has been a switch to supporting smaller local businesses over larger companies who have a monopoly in the market in recent years. By focusing on providing the ultimate customer experience, you can reward this loyalty by gaining a solid customer and utilizing your good reputation to keep growing and expanding what you do. You just listened to the post titled Making Your Small Business Stand Out Online by Michael Levitt of breakfastleadership.com. As you know, first impression is important in the business world, and having a functional website helps establish that great first impression. However, creating a consistent content calendar and consistently publishing new content is a tedious task. So what can you do to impress your audience and increase your brand awareness? This is where BKA Content comes in. BKA Content is a content writing agency with 10 plus years of experience that does all the heavy lifting for you. They will take over the responsibility of doing keyword research, brainstorming relevant topics, and writing the content for you. To make it work for you, they offer different size packages depending on the volume of content that you need. Now you can just focus on your strengths in other areas and have your blog posts delivered directly to your inbox fully ready to be published and watch your web traffic grow. If you need help with content writing, go to bkacontent.com slash OSD to learn more and get your free month of blogs. That's bkacontent.com slash OSD to learn more and get your free month of blogs. And thanks so much to Michael for letting us share his work today. Michael Levitt is the founder and chief burnout officer of the Breakfast Leadership Network, a San Diego and Toronto-based burnout media firm. He's a certified NLP and CBT therapist. NLP, by the way, is neuro-linguistic programming and CBT is cognitive behavioral therapy. And he's one of the world's leading authorities in burnout recovery and prevention. He's also a Fortune 500 consultant, a number one best-selling author, and host of The Breakfast Leadership Show, a top 200 podcast on iTunes. He's a two-time top 20 global thought leader on culture with Thinkers360 and a former healthcare executive, CIO, and CFO overseeing $2 billion budgets. So he has seen and done it all. So come by breakfastleadership.com for a lot more articles from him. Plus, you can check out his speaking, media, and much more. And I have that linked for you in this episode's description. And once again, thanks so much to Michael for permission to narrate this post. But that's it for this edition of Optimal Startup Daily. I thank you so much for being here and for listening all the way through. And I'll be back again tomorrow where I'm gonna have two posts, both of them from Derek Sivers. So I'll see you there on the Friday show where your optimal life awaits.